Good morning, friends. So it is March 18th, 2020, and our life is really crazy. So this is going to be a foster care type vlog, and I just wanted to give you guys a life update from the Oaks household. We got a call yesterday around two o'clock asking if we would take a sibling set of three. Mind you, we have one bedroom, one full-size bed, and with the sibling set, a boy and a girl cannot share the same room. So after thinking about it and praying about it, we just decided like we really don't have the room right now, which is hard to say, but sometimes part of this journey is to make tough decisions. So we thought, you know, hopefully um, they would be placed in a home where they could all stay together. Well, we got a call back saying, we are in desperate need. Would you consider taking the two girls that could share a room? And so we talked about it again, and although it broke our hearts to have to separate them, we said, you know, if you need somebody, yes, we can do that. Well, it turns out the older brother is going to be going and staying with his grandparents, which is a good situation. They just couldn't take all of them, and then the girls are coming here. So that made me feel a little bit better. We are getting two girls today. We will have less than 24 hours notice, which some people get like way less than that. So we're thankful for 24 hours. We've been told different ages. So they're either four and eight or three and seven or yeah, somewhere in there. Um, and it's COVID-19, schools are closed, daycares are closing, and I'm gonna be at home with them for two weeks. Yeah, I've just been going around the house trying to get things ready. So let me take you in their room. Okay, you guys have seen this room before. This was a little ladies room, but this is our current guest bedroom and gonna work for the two girls for the time being. Obviously we have a full size bed in here right now and we had talked about hurrying up and putting two twins in here. But the thing that we have learned is sometimes these kids come into care and they like being close. It's like their security blanket. They like sharing a bed for the time being. So we decided to just keep it here and see what their preference is. Hopefully they get along well. Um, hopefully this is a good situation for them to share the room. If not, we'll have to reevaluate. But for now, we're keeping the full size bed. There are some touches of pink in here for girls and we have some toys left over from Little Lady and actually we have some clothes that were gifted to us um, that are around the smaller girl size but we don't have much for the older girl yet. This is all new for us because with Little Lady it was a slow transition and we got her stuff, we saw what she needed and with this one, we have no idea. I don't even know their names. So this is kind of crazy. To be honest, my heart is just breaking for them because they had to go to bed last night knowing that when they wake up, they're gonna be taken to a stranger's house. When I was a little girl, I never had that fear. And honestly, when I sit and I think about that too much, I just start crying because I can't, I can't handle that thought. Um, anyway, hopefully we can provide them with a loving, caring home. Hopefully we are not intimidating people. And yeah, typically when we get a placement, we take them to the store, make them feel comfortable, help them to get some things that they need. With COVID-19, um, I don't know what that's gonna look like because we're doing social distancing and we're trying to avoid going and doing a lot of shopping. So I'm kind of nervous. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm obviously thankful that we have the ability to bring in two little girls, but at the same time, I don't know what they look like. Like I could go to Walmart and see a line of 100 kids and have no idea which ones were coming to our house. Um, I don't know their personalities. I don't really know anything about them. Don't know their names, don't know their ages, don't know their educational level. Like if we're gonna be homeschooling for the next two weeks while all this is going on, pray for us friends. Um, this is gonna be an interesting journey, but I wanted to document it and bring you guys along. It is 11.30 a.m. and they are gonna show up at 1.30 a.m. So we've got two hours. This is the life of a foster parent. All right, friends, welcome to our new normal. <laughs> this is a foster care vlog. Uh -huh. What do you think, Dave? Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Really cute, really sweet. We're in the honeymoon stage. You're talking about me? Thanks, <laughs> Thanks babe. Appreciate it. one and we're gonna write you a little reading. Can you show them what books you're gonna read? Big Red Barn. Trolls. Trolls. Who doesn't love trolls? <laughs> I love trolls. Hey, Jonah and the Very Big Fish. Yeah, Jonah and the Big Fish. Moses in the Very Special Basket. Moses in the Very Special Basket. 
five little penguins. Five little penguins, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna do some reading. <laughs> We are on a walk. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah me too. This is fun. Okay, yeah. good now. Okay, it is 5.15. Do I look tired? Because I am so tired. We just went on a walk, played some wiffle ball. Now I'm making some dinner. Keeping it simple, we're just doing spaghetti and green beans. Um, David should be home soon, thank goodness. He met them over lunch, it went really well. <sighs> I am exhausted. But it's been it's been really fun. Um, I think they're dressing well, and they're super sweet, super adorable, cute girls, like super cute girls. My hair keeps getting rougher and rougher by the minute. But one of my favorite things is seeing David with the kids. So I'm gonna try to sneak up on them and show you. I'll hatch. So how does the hatch work? The littlest one was there, but she escaped to play the piano. <laughs> you guys hear that? It's beautiful. All right, well, I don't know how much longer this is gonna be because the girl is tired. Thank you guys so much for watching day one of success. Now we just gotta do bath and bedtime. No, you don't wanna do bedtime yet? You want bath time? Yeah, bath time. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye.